Hello, welcome to Yoga Lotties. My name is Fran Hopkins. This class is normally offered through Lawrence Parks and Recreation on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the Community Building from 5.30 to 6.25 p.m. and on Saturday mornings at the Sports Pavilion from 8.30 to 9.20 a.m. This class will be focused on the moon pose. We'll call it our moon flow. Let's begin with the warm up. We're going to take our feet underneath our hips, roll the shoulders back, a little activity between the shoulder blades as you turn your palms forward. Feel your feet connected to the earth. Feel all of your toes spread wide and touching. Then lift the arches of your feet just a little to activate the muscles that run up along the inside of your legs. Draw your navel to your spine. Close your eyes and now find more length in your spine as the crown of your head lifts up to the sky. You're finding more distance between the lower ribs and the hips as the side body lengthens, the spine lengthens. You're floating lightly over the earth. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. We're letting go. We're letting go of judgment, expectations, and competition. Let's add movement to the breath. Sweep your hands out, sweep them up over your head, touch your palms together, then draw your hands right down to your heart center and keep moving with the breath. Inhaling, sweeping up, and exhaling down. Keep moving, inhaling, rising, Exhaling, sinking one more time. Inhale, rise up and exhale. We're moving out into our moon pose for the warm up. So we'll separate our feet about three and a half to four feet apart with our toes out to the corner. Then we bend our knees so that they're stacked generally over the ankles, and we make sure that our knees are moving back towards the little toes. Taking the hands straight out from the shoulders, bending the elbows and turning the fingertips up, drawing the navel in to protect the spine. We're holding in moon pose. Just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. On your next inhalation, rise up, take a breath in, reach to the sky, then exhale, Allow your elbows to come down as your shoulder blades go down in their pockets. Inhale up and exhale down. We're creating a wonderful gliding motion of the scapula. Warming up the arms, the legs, the shoulders, the breath. A couple more times, really extending up and drawing down. Extend up and draw down. Now let's turn this into a sun pose, taking the heels out just a little bit. We sink a little lower and then we open our palms to the sky. A little bend in the elbows like we're holding the sun up in our palms. Turning this into a sunflower. Rise up, touch your fingertips together over your head with long arms. Make a huge circle as you hinge forward. Cross your arms and draw the biggest sunflower you've ever drawn with your fingertips. Exhale as you fold forward and hinge. Inhale and rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. One more time. Beautiful motion here. And now we're going to hold the sun pose again. Just come on down and hold. Can you think a little bit lower? Challenge yourself. Good. Rise up. Strengthen those legs. Bring your hands together over your head. Draw your hands down to your heart center. A little bow. Check in. All right. Hands to hips. We're going to heel, toe, our feet together. We have our feet lined directly under our hips or maybe a little wider if your balance is challenged today. We'll do our chair flow. Our chair is like we're reaching our tailbone back to sit into the chair. We can bring our hands to our thighs and just draw the shoulders back, draw the navel in. From the side, it's just sitting here. Then rise up, take a big breath in, sweep your hands up 
exhale, and now just bring your hands out in front of you or back down. Inhale, rise, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, sit again, exhale. Do it again, see if you can sit a little lower this time, sit a little lower. And now, turn your palms together and lift your thumbs up. Sit a little lower, a little lower, and then fold forward. Just let your head drop down. Say yes with your head. Say no with your head. Good. And now walk your hands forward so that you can begin to prepare for a down dog. Pressing your hands firmly into the floor, you walk your feet back. <clears throat> kind of pedal your heels out, up and down. Maybe get movement in your down dog. Really important to roll your shoulders open here, bringing some broadness between your shoulder blades. And now come up onto the balls of your feet, lift your hip bones as high as you possibly can. And now lower your heels down as you push your thighs back Draw your ribs up towards your spine and release. Bring your knees to the floor, open them wide and push back the child's pose. Just knowing that any time today that we're doing a pose that is not suitable for you today, child's pose is a good option. So we'll move forward now. We're going to come forward and practice a cobra pose. So take your hands forward as far as you can and then shift your shoulders forward over your wrists and start to lower your body down to the floor. Have the tops of your feet on the floor and bring the heel of your hands back to your ribs. Draw your shoulder blades together as you pull your shoulder tips back and then inhale, lift up and lower down. We're going to do three more of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and keep straightening your arms. See if you can get a little bit higher here in your cobra. Look forward, tuck your toes, push back to your downward facing dog and stretch. Draw your navel up to your spine. Looking forward, We'll come up onto the balls of our feet and lightly walk to our hands, holding a forward fold again. In the forward fold, your knees are slightly bent. Ribs are moving toward the thighs. Gaze is directly between your legs and behind you. Coming into a spinal extension, you could either lengthen your spine forward with your fingertips on the floor, or if it works better for you, bring your hands to your shins and pull your spine forward. Feel your toes and your heels on the floor. Exhale, fold and bend again, and rise up. Take a breath in, circle up, and bring your hands down through heart center. Just check in and see how you feel. We'll do sun salutations. Sweep your hands up over your head. Take a big breath in, look up. Exhale, soften your knees, soften your elbows, fold down. Inhale, look up, step your right foot way back and bring your right knee to the floor. Feel that long stretch in the front of the right thigh, in the back of the left leg. Bring your hands to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. From here, come into a plank. So hold here, bring your knees down. Come back down to your cobra. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, tuck back to downward facing dog. Bend both knees and take your right foot forward inside the right hand as you take your left knee to the floor and stretch and take your left foot forward, beside the right foot, and fold. Inhale, look up halfway, bend your knees, and sweep up. Take a breath in, and exhale out. Let's do that on the other side. Take a huge breath in, 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Take your left foot back and bring the knee down. Step back into a downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, cobra. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Step your left foot inside the left hand. Step your right knee down. Lengthen. Step forward and hold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Bend your knees. Sweep up. Take a breath in. Hands overhead. Exhaling down to heart center. Let's work on our moon flow. Standing at the right edge of your mat. Take a big breath in. Breathe in. And hold on to your right hand with your left hand and pull over. Then inhale, lift up. Switch hands and stretch the side body. Stepping out to the left, we're going to take our foot way wide into that moon pose again and pull down moon pose inhale reach up turn all of your toes to the right finding triangle pose here we shift our hips to the left and extend our ribs forward reaching towards the foot on that right foot hold here from here we rotate our spine so that we're facing the floor and we bring our left hand and our right hand to the floor and maybe we walk that left foot in a bit. Lengthen your spine forward to take a breath in. Then exhale and fold. You can have as much bend as you need in that right knee as possible. Coming from here, we're taking the left knee to the floor. And we're in that low lunge. Now we turn it into a modified warrior one with our hands up in the air. From here, we take our hands down in front of our body and then turn to face the front edge of the, the long edge of the mat and turn your left toes up, sinking the hips down, stretching in a side lunge. Moving through the center, we take that side lunge now over to the left side and now spin. Go ahead and come to your modified warrior one facing the left direction. So your right knee is on the floor. Rise your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor, moving into a pyramid from here. So straighten the right leg, drag the right foot in, and set the heel down. Turning the right toes out a bit, we find our triangle on this side. And then lift up, turn both toes out to the corners, back down into your moon pose. Stand with your feet together at the left edge of your mat and come down to heart center. We're going to reverse that out. So reach your hands up, take a breath in. Right hand to left wrist, pull over. Inhale up and go the other direction. Inhale, stepping out to the right, coming down into our moon pose, standing up and stretching, turning our feet for triangle, shift hips to the right, and over we go. And then pyramid pose, hands come down, spin up on the back foot, set the heel down, lower your head. Changing now to our kneeling warrior one. Bring your right knee to the floor and a back bend. Exhale, hands in front of that left foot. Spin over, lift the toes on the right foot for your low side lunge. Come through the center, side lunge. Spin, knee down, warrior one. Come into your pyramid pose. 
exhale turn your left foot out a bit and find triangle here rise up lower down come together and exhale what do you say we do this one more time inhale exhale inhale exhale stepping out to the left moon pose inhaling turning our toes to the right exhale pyramid to the right side or triangle to the right side and now pyramid rotate over bend your knees as much as you need to adjust your back foot and then bring that back knee down and rise up for your modified warrior one side lunge to the side go through the middle go to the other side and warrior one here lift up pyramid exhale turn your toes out a bit for your triangle extend over rise up moon pose together and exhale lift up bend over to the right lift up over to the left and stepping out to the right moon pose rise up triangle to the left pyramid to the left knee comes down warrior one side lunge side lunge warrior one pyramid triangle rise up lower down step together and pull that's good okay so let's just take a little break here with some forward folds wide legged forward fold feet are going to be nice and wide bring your hands to your hips roll your shoulders down good so see if you can bring your thumbs to your sacrum that triangle bone just above the tailbone and then draw your navel and hinge forward and bring your head toward the floor uh, release your hands to the floor align your fingertips with your toes bring your elbows out to your shins let your head drop draw your navel to your spine to support it breathe inhale lengthen and look up bring your finger your hands to your hips and rise up good we're going to do one more of these take your hands straight out from the side interlace your fingers behind you if that's what you can do if not keep your hands really really wide we're going to dive forward and fold our hands forward so take a breath in and lift up first big stretch getting those shoulder blades closer together exhale fold your hands over and release okay bring your hands down go ahead and bring your knees to the floor turn sideways on your mat if you're not already and sit back on your heels good from here we're going to do a back bend stand up tuck your toes under roll your shoulders back bring your hands to your ribs and then curve from your upper spine look up bring your chin to your chest tuck in bring your hands to the floor under hands underneath shoulders arch your back up like a cat and release walk your hands forward tuck your toes under lift your hips up into downward facing dog 
And now walk your hands back to your feet and fold. Inhale, look up halfway, bend your knees and sweep up. Take a breath in and exhale. We're gonna work on moving into a half moon pose. Now you can use blocks for your half moon. I have blocks here, I need those. And it could be that you don't need to use blocks at all. We'll start out in a warrior two. So we'll take our feet about three and a half to four feet apart, turn our right toes to the right, bend the knee over the ankle and anchor through. Good, good. Turn your face to look over your fingertips and then bend on in, take your angle pose. Now you can have your forearm on your leg or you can bring your hand to a block on the pinky side of your foot. Okay, hold here. Now from here, we're gonna take our hand to our lower back, look down and set that block beside your foot and lift up, turn your foot, reach your hand up and lengthen your neck. Come down, set your foot wide. Come on down softly. Rise yourself up and we'll go to the other side. Okay. Turning the left toes out. Out we go into a warrior two. Turn your face. Float your shoulders over your hips and then reach forward for your angle pose either with your forearm on your thigh or block to the pinky side of your foot and rotate. From here, we come to our half moon. Bring your hand to your lower back, look forward, set your block forward, lift up. But try to stack your shoulders, try to stack your hips then lift your arm. Both legs are straight, both arms are straight, both feet are flexed. Hold, breathe. Now bend that left knee, set down softly. Rise up, take a big breath in. Down into your moon pose one more time. Rise up and release. Good. Let's turn to the top of our mat. We'll do a cycle through a vinyasa. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up, bend your knees, set your hands flat on the floor, walk back to a plank. See if you can stay on your toes. Bend your knees as you lower halfway. Bend your elbows as you lower halfway. Lift your chest up, tuck back to downward facing dog and release. And coming to a seated position, taking our feet in front of us, sitting in stick pose, shoulders over, hips, palms on the floor, feet flexed. Take the hands up, take a breath in, exhale, bring your hands to your shins or your feet. Then inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, and fold. Bring your hands to your shins and straighten up. We'll twist. Bring your right foot in, close, and have your legs pretty close together. Take your left arm up and then cross it over. So you can either bring your elbow to the top part of your knee and wrap around, or you can lean back, reach your hand up again, and elbow inside or outside of the thigh. 
this is your anchor here. So now rotate, breathe. Turn your gaze as far to the right as possible. And release, and we'll go to the other side. Pull your left leg in, nice and tall. Hand back. So you're either going to wrap and turn, or lift up, rotate, and now turn your body. Keep that right foot flexed. Lengthen in your spine. Continue to ring out and breathe. And release. Good job, everybody. So let's go ahead and roll ourselves down. Extend your feet out. Reach your hands up over your head. Interlace your fingers and stretch. Flex your feet to make it even more. And now draw your right knee in toward your shoulder. Just give yourself quite a little squeeze here. Switch sides. And release. Awesome. We're going to do a hip opener. Take both of your knees in towards your chest and straighten your legs up and flex your feet. Now take your left leg, cross it over the right and hold. You can hold on to the sole of the foot and the knee. Maybe you can bend the right knee and rock from side to side. Maybe forward and back. And now hold. From here, we're crossing that left leg over the right and catching our feet in our hands. And now lay down. Place your head and shoulders on the floor and pull your heels toward your hips. Stretch. From here, we release. So let your hands go. Straighten up and on to the other side. So cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Bend that knee. Rock from side to side. Forward and back. Pull in. Stretch that outside hip on that right side right there. And now we're going to cross right over left. Reach for your feet. Lengthen your spine down. Pull your heels in towards your hips. And release. Beautiful. And now release. Good. Feet to the floor. Bridge up. Hold right here. Lift up. And roll down. Roll onto your belly. Take one hand forward, other hand back, and reach for your foot. Pull your heel towards your bottom. Switch sides. So we're going to reach for both of our feet at the same time. You want to take your feet pretty wide here and then or take your knees wide and then bend your knees in. Reach back for one foot, reach back for the other. Now walk your knees closer together. Flex your feet, draw your shoulder blades together. Take a breath in, lift your heart and lift your thighs. Breathe. Breathe. 
and release. Take your hands to the floor under your shoulders. Push yourself to child's pose. Push back. And move forward on the mat. Roll onto your back one more time. Take your legs up in the air. You can just hold this inversion with your back on the floor, or you can lift all the way up to a shoulder stand. It's your choice. If you want to do the shoulder stand, just take your feet over your head. Catch your mid-back in your hands. Tuck your knees in. And now, rise up. Plow pose. And roll down. Ooh. Take the soles of your feet together. Walk your hands under your bottom. Press through your forearms and lift your back off the floor. Lift up. Walk your elbows a little closer together and then lean your head back. Fish pose. You can stay here with your feet together. You can extend them out or up or up. And release down. Coming to Shavasana. Open your feet wide on the mat. Let your toes roll out to the side. Turn your palms up and breathe. Just take a nice big breath in. Make a sound ha <sighs> as you breathe out. Again, breathe in. And now just close your lips, breathe in and out through the nose. Close your eyes, relax your face, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, your upper arms, your forearms, and your palms. Relax your torso. Relax your buttocks and your hips, your hamstrings and your quadriceps, your calves and shins, your ankles, your feet. Feel the back of your body heavy on the floor. Inhale, and on your exhalation, become even heavier, feeling the full support of the floor. On the inhalation, feel the lightness on the front side of your body, completely supported and completely free. On your next inhalation, send your breath down to your belly, fill up through your torso all the way up to the base of the throat, pause. Slowly exhale from the top to the bottom. And now wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, circle your wrists and your ankles. Walk your ankles to touch. Reach your hands over your head. Take a stretch. 
Bring your knees into your chest, rock from side to side. And now roll over to one side, cradling your head in your hands, taking a little rest. And then with your top hand, press it into the floor and lift yourself up. Come to a seated position. Drop your shoulders from your ears. Let's just make a little thumbs to index fingers. Extend your other fingers out. Now reach your arms forward. Draw your chin in and lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, forward fold over your crossed ankles. Inhale, rise up. Take your fingertips out, turn your palms up, and sweep your hands up over your head. I want to thank you for coming today. Take your thumbs to your forehead for kind and loving thoughts, toward your lips for kind and loving words, and to your heart center for a kind and loving heart. Not just for yourself and your loved ones, but for every living being. Namaste.